Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions, man. We got to talk about it, man. We got to talk about this movie that's on Netflix right now. It's called Super Sale. It came out um the 27th of June, so um you know I'm a little late to the party, but I seen it, and I gotta do my um my due diligence about this story, man, about this movie. I don't want to talk about the spoilers and nothing like that, cause I don't want to give it away in case y'all want to go out there and see it. But I'm about to review it, and and there's some things about it I I like I liked it a lot, and there's a few things I didn't like, man. We are gonna talk about that towards the end, and I ain't gonna spoil nothing from you, but the, the things I don't like, it's it's kind of you know. Yeah, you know, I just feel a certain way about this, man. Um, so for starters, what Supercell is about is about a group of five people, five South Londoners that's got superpowers. They got some powers, man. Um, not too long ago, December 26th, no, December the 21st, um, three years ago, black people was talking about getting powers, man. It was all over the news, it was all over. It was trending. Black people getting powers, man. They had a whole bunch of memes about it and stuff. December twenty first, black people are getting superpowers. You know, I was in on it too. I'm talking about like me personally. I made a video about it, man. I thought I was gonna get some superpowers, but I ain't get them, man. But there's no here, no there. But y'all know what I'm talking about, man. The superpowers. That's what it was. Five South London people got superpowers, man. And um, it basically just started off about this dude right here. His name Michael, and he developed powers. You can tell by the eyes they got powers and stuff, but he saw his future self. His future self came up to him and said, Self, what's up, man? I got to holler at you. He said, You got to do your thing, man, because, you know, he took him to his girlfriend's grave and his girlfriend both said died. Her name Dion. So he, you know, he came he came to him in the future and tell him, like, Look, you need to go back, man. It kind of reminded me of that show Heroes. I've never seen it, but they had a big campaign about heroes and it was. Um, save the tree, lead to save the world, and that's what basically what this was, man. He had to go back and save that girl, you know. So he has established his little crew, you know. He got him a little crew together, and that's what it was. That's this the future of them right here in the future. This is a crazy picture too, man. Between that man legs, no Diddy. That's crazy. That's wild. But that ain't what I'm talking about, man. Um, he had to get his crew together, and you know his crew consists of this dude right here. I think his name Rodney, little light skinned dude. He got super speed. Um. This dude right here, Taser. This hey, this dude right here kind of grimy right here. Like this boy. Woo! Hey, this dude right here wild, man. But he had invinci with invisibility powers. He can turn invisible. Um, this dude was a stay-at-home dad. Not stay-at-home dad, but a, um, a single father, you know, trying to raise his son and all that stuff. Baby mama drama, child support, shit like that, you know. He had super strength and had a... A chick, you know, you always gotta have a female in the movie. I think she got telekinesis power or something, or something, or something, or something. So it's a pretty dope movie, man. And it's like, I don't want to give it away, but I'm saying they got some vibes of they clone Tyrone in it to me. It's something about, you know, Netflix doing these they clone Tyrone type movies, man. And not like they cloning people and doing them to them, but it's about, you know, they clone Tyrone had a group of people that had to save some people. You know, from underground, in the underground, and got powers and stuff. They fighting people with hoodies and stuff. That's who the um the people was fighting in um this this movie. Um, what do you call this movie? Ah, Supercell. This these were the hoodie people. But it it, it, it just something about it just brought a correlation. As when, when I watched the movie and I seen they clone Tyrone, I see they both on Netflix. It's something about kidnapping niggas and shit of, of some sort and. You know, it's a drug dealer named Crazy in this movie, and they run the test on him and shit. They, they you know, y'all seen they clone Tyrone. Y'all know that they took drug dealers and like, damn, I thought a nigga was dead. And they put him back in the street to run the world. You know, it's, it's something about this man. I, I can't really pinpoint it, but if you seen they clone Tyrone and you seen Supercell, you are gonna see something in there. And it's something about Netflix with kidnapping niggas and putting them in basements and stuff, man. Kind of make you think. I, that's just me personally, man. But. Yo, y'all gotta check this movie out, man. I really do, man. It's a real dope movie. It's just, I don't know, man. It's about niggas getting superpowers, basically. I mean, that's what that's the gist of it, and how they gotta control and they fight and do shit with it. You know, I like that. I like that. I like that. 
So I thought I was getting superpowers, man, not too long ago. Three years ago, December 21st. And, mm, tell you the things I didn't like about this movie, though. Let's get into that. I mean, this, this Netflix series. Six episodes, man. You can binge watch this shit in a day. It took me two days, man. I ain't got shit to do, but I got shit to do. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. But the things I didn't like about it was kind of kind of iffy to me was the the Charlene chick. That's my wife's name also. Not spelt the same, but it was something about her that she was that she made a couple of comments about, you know, mixed race couples or something like not not necessarily mixed race couples, but like there's something about like a white woman with a black man or a black man and, and me I've seen probably maybe 20 London shows and movies all put together like adulthood, kid, kid adulthood, um, summer house, we call that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Or Sully and, damn, I forgot the name of these shows, man. But it's a, it's a lot of London shows and movies and stuff that I've seen before. And I have never seen that element of that, that like downing another race. We're talking about another race. That's crazy. That, that was the first thing I noticed. I'm looking like, man, who made this show? Is the show um, Supercell is made by a dude named Rap Man, R A P M A N, Rap Man, Rap Man, Rap Man. Yeah, that's me. Um, and it was like when I, when I was like, is it, is this an all black movie? Because you know, I'm sitting there like I ain't never heard this in a London movie or show before, like. Racism, discouraging racism versus a black and a white. And she, the, the Charlene chick, she was just coming saying some shit like, some shit like, if a white girl with a white, I don't know, man. Y'all got to see the shit. It's it just something. Maybe it hit me different, but it was it's something that stood out to me. She was like, you got to be a stringy hair white girl for him to holler at you and stuff like that, or these white women gonna steal our men. I'm looking at this like I never seen that inside of a, a UK show, a London show. Because everybody usually mixed together, you know, it was black and white. And that's what another thing that got me was the all black gang they had in there in this show. It was like when I usually watch these London movies and shows, they got their gangs look like this, man. Like it's mixed of people. It's black and white people. I don't see the racism over there that I see in, um, you know, over here. For it's like all black gang, all white, all Mexican, all Latino. But over there is like a mixture. So when I seen that, I'm like, what is an all black gang? Because, you know, the gangs over there usually like the warriors. Warriors, come out and play. You know, it's everybody over there. And I was looking at that's kind of crazy. Seeing the, you know, that, that element of racism to this to this movie. That's what I'm saying. I ain't know Rap Man was American or whatever. I'm like, because me and my wife watching this, I'm looking like, it got to be some. It gotta be some black people writing this, like American black people, because I never seen racism over there, and that just threw me off a little bit. Another thing was the Crips and Bloods. They didn't call them Crips and Bloods over there, but that's what they was. You seen the gang of um, dudes wearing red bandanas riding bicycles, and a dude wearing blue bi um, bandanas wearing, I mean, riding scooters, and it was like I ain't never seen that in a UK show. Or UK movie, cause I'm telling, I ain't seen. I'm not no fucking, you know. We call it man, a proprietor or. I'm trying to sound smart. I'm just not. A, I'm not an expert on UK knowledge in London and gangs and movies and shows and stuff. But what I have seen, I have never seen Bloods and Crips over there. I never seen Color and Color over there, like a red versus the blue. Well, I never seen an all black gang over there. I always see black and white versus black and white is like you got five black dudes and one white dude and you got seven white dudes and one black dude and they fighting against each other it's like i've never seen it's always been a mixture of gangs so over here i'm just saying like all black all black that's crazy i've never seen an all black and all black gang over there and like i said i'm not an expert from over there gang culture or life but, but i'm saying for what i've seen in movies um What's that UK show, man? UK show on Netflix. I want to get the name right. UK show. Top Boy. That's what it was. Top Boy. Like, from watching shows like Top Boy, i never seen that before. Seeing those um black um mixed gangs and 
shit like that. And I never have seen, like I said, with the woman Charlene, or just the question of white man dating the out of his race, black, like, I never seen that. So that's what kind of threw me off about this whole, this whole show. Cause I never seen that, the racism inside of UK television or movie programming. So, hmm. And the last but not least, the only thing, the, the craziest thing, well, the thing I didn't like the most was damn Dion. Dion, you ain't had no powers, bitch. You gotta sit down, man. You was in the way. I'm sitting there, I'm frustrated, like, bitch, get your ass in the car and take the fuck off. Go, what you still here for? Then they do some shit, and like, bitch, you still here? Dion, get. Dion wanted to be involved too much. Too much. Dion, sit your ass down. You can't go. I didn't discover these four five niggas with powers. They got powers. Your date ain't until the ninth. June 9th, July 9th. That's when your date was. Bitch, it's the third. What you doing here? You God damn. God. So that's me, man. That's uh, that's what I had to say, man. Overall, I get this movie like or this show. Shit, a nine, eight, eight, nine out of ten. You know? It ain't, ain't nothing wrong with this movie. I like it. It's pretty dope. It's pretty good. Super sale. On Netflix, black people getting powers. That damn Taser dude, he kind of way, yo. He, he kind of grimy. He was like, damn. I ain't know he was a good guy, bad guy. Anyway, man. That's my review of my synopsis about this Super Sale show. I liked it, man. And season two, I can't wait for it to come out. Um, This shit was only six episodes. It was pretty dope for six episodes. It didn't really have that many... The dry spots in there, you like they really got to it. I don't want to spoil it for nobody because there's a lot into it. It's, it's a it's a it's a good little couple good little spoilers. I mean, a good little Easter eggs and revealing moments that you can watch and be like, damn, word say word. So it's gonna be a lot more of that man. It's gonna be a lot more to come, man. So y'all check this out, man. Y'all go check it out. Super Cell. It's written and directed by Rap Man, I believe, who created it. Rap Man, R A M. I mean, damn. R-A-P-A-M-A-N Rap Man I'm Heist Man This is Rap Man Let's do a better Rap Man No, I'm playing on. Anyway, man I go live on the channel Every Friday at 9pm Talking about stuff Just like this Y'all gotta come through And holler at me, man In the meantime Y'all go check out Super Cell on Netflix It's been out there For about a month This is about, man It's pretty dope um, Like I said About black people Getting superpowers, man I go live on the channel Every Friday at 9pm Come through and holler at me, man Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimper that I'm putting out when I put it out. Like I said, I go live on Fridays. Come through and join the conversation. Holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinion. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.